Hi everyone, in today's video we will take a look at how you can analyze social shares on websites. Now if you've seen websites, uh, particularly blogs or news like websites, uh, typically tend to show the number of uh, tweets, the number of uh, Facebook likes, uh, LinkedIn shares, etc. on a given page. And one of the um, utilities, if you will, of um, tracking it on uh, very social is the fact that uh, we can also use that uh, to do things like uh, analyzing uh, the performance of social shares and um, marketing activities and content marketing on our website and at the same point of time interestingly uh, we can use it as a tool to understand competitors and look at competitors websites and do some analysis and uh, build some competitive uh, strategies around content marketing and how to gain uh, advantage uh, over competitors um, with regard to using and benefiting from social media. So that's really the focus of uh, this video just to show you a quick uh, couple of examples of how we can uh, pull all of this information utilizing uh, the strength of R and uh, of course uh, we'll do some data analysis. Uh, we'll rely on our old friend Excel for that. So to give you an idea in terms of um, how things have been set up, uh, so if um, uh, think of it from a very conceptual perspective, this is really what we will need to do in order to get everything wired up and running. Um, so uh, one, if you just have a simple URL, you don't need uh, to put in this complex uh, set of workflows in place. But uh, imagine if you will, you wanted to analyze a full competitor's website or your own website. Um, so step one, you need to extract um, all the URLs uh, for a given domain. Maybe it's a blog site or it's a main site or a particular subdomain, etc. Uh, so in my case, I've used uh, Scrappy. Uh, but uh, feel free to uh, you know, use the tool of your choice. I've covered how you can use Scrappy in previous videos. Uh, so using Scrappy, I've uh, extracted all the URLs into a CSV file. Uh, then using R to uh, take that uh, URL, which I'm interested in analyzing. And of course, R uh, doesn't do any magic here. It just uh, enables that orchestration, if you will, of taking that data from the CSV. Uh, sends it off to an external API, which I'll show you a few couple of examples. Uh, and the external API uh, sends us back um, uh, the data pertaining to uh, the likes, the shares uh, across various social media channels. Uh, we'll put that back in a, into a CSV and do some analysis using Excel. Uh, so that's, uh, that's the plan for the video. Uh, here's a bit of code here and uh, let me also show you um, the data as well. So fairly simple, uh, not, not too complicated uh, uh, code. Uh, so essentially we need to be making use of a couple of external APIs as I pointed out. Um, so um, uh, a few uh, external APIs exist, both uh, most of them commercial, uh, but I found one which is um, uh, free and it's in beta. Um, so we'll take a look at uh, how you can call that API. Um, and um, the API returns JSON data, so hence the library here. So uh, before maybe I walk through the actual code itself, I'll show you um, the URLs the, um, and the APIs that uh, we will try to analyze. Uh, keep in mind that uh, if you wanted to build it on your own, um, every uh, vendor, social media vendor in some shape or form um, exposes uh, the, an API that uh, you could get the account, but it can be fairly tedious to do it network by network and you have to um, write uh, potentially a lot of service code behind the scene to make these API calls. So here's a um, um, good list. Uh, that I found off of uh, uh, a Google search of how you can do that if you wanted to write your own code uh, to manage all this OAuth based API in uh, you know API calls. Uh, the other option is to use some um, uh, either free or commercial uh, products out there. Again, I'm not in any shape or form endorsing these products, but I'm just using it as an example. Um, so I'll show you two. Uh, 
uh, of these service. So let's just take an example. Again, it's a fictitious scenario. So let's just say, um, um, you know, Hortonworks, say, for example, for Toxic is a competitor of mine, and um, I wanted to analyze how well they're doing, um, you know, how their blogs are doing. Uh, so as an example, if I wanted to analyze any one particular blog, so this is the most recent blog article, what I can do is um, I can go over to the service here and uh, copy that URL and, um, oops, yeah. And here you can see that um, uh, for that given URL, there are two Facebook shares and uh, 35 uh, LinkedIn shares. Uh, so it, that's an, uh, you know, a quick um, uh, response from this service. Again, I've of course used the UI, uh, but there's an API behind uh, the scene here. This is a commercial product. Um, however, I'm in for sake of this uh, video, I'm using a, a free service. Uh, it's uh, in beta right now, but uh, it's, uh, it's, since it's free, there's um, less complications for me to show you the code and uh, uh, run through it. Uh, again, I've found it good, but sometimes can be a bit unreliable. Uh, so if we use the same URL here, this API here, uh, if I um, copy this uh, URL again, yeah, and URL equals, all right, so that's the same um, uh, URL here, as you can see, but uh, it's now returning a JSON data. So uh, for purpose of this video, I'm going to be using this uh, free service here. Uh, so uh, the the raw data that I have collected, uh, I can't show you the URLs um, because it's actually a competitor of mine. But uh, um, as you can imagine, there's uh, quite a lot of uh, links here. So this was uh, extracted. Um, uh, you can ignore this column here, but uh, it's basically the URLs that I've uh, pulled using Scrappy. Uh, as you can see, they have uh, quite a lot of content here. Um, and um, um, the more interesting uh, sub-site is something that I've uh, extracted. So um, there's uh, quite a lot of different URLs in there. So each of these URLs will run it um, to this API and extract this data, tabulate it all, and then do some analysis. Uh, so that's again, uh, let's uh, head back to uh, R here. So simple, um, a couple of examples. So I'm the result data set, um, I'm only interested in a few of the social shares here, like Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Pinterest, and uh, Google. Um, if you're wondering why not Twitter, this API doesn't uh, give Twitter, in part because of um, the Twitter service uh, changes since uh, back end of uh, 2015. Uh, but there are other commercial API service providers that give you even Twitter data. Um, again, you can see I'm invoking that API. Uh, the data that it returns is um, in JSON, so uh, extracting that information. And um, this is my master list of all the URLs from my competitor site. So let's actually run through the code. Um, yep, so, so far I just uh, created that helper function, uh, reading all the list of competitors and um, Normally I would run through the whole thing, but it can take a long time to make these API calls. So I'm only running it uh, for the first two uh, URLs here. Um, as you can see, it's uh, not uh, very complicated code. Uh, the keen R um, enthusiasts uh, watching this video would immediately point out that, yeah, I'm actually using a for loop, not a good idea in uh, functional programming. Got it. Uh, this is just a quick example. Um, and then finally, I'm going to write that uh, into a file here. So I've done that in advance for the whole data set. Uh, so as you can see, it's, uh, it, it can be a bit time consuming. Um, so I've run that in advance and uh, here's what uh, the output looks like. So uh, as you may remember, I'm only looking at uh, shares for Facebook, Google, uh, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. Um, now, now that I have it in Excel, um, you know, I can utilize all the strength of uh, Excel to do some uh, data analysis, like say, for example, if I wanted to do some uh, conditional formatting just to help me um, look at uh, the data in a much more visual way and, you know, gain some quick insights, um, very easy to do so. So uh, let me just enable it all. If you have not used this feature before in Excel, I uh, highly recommend you take a look at it. So basically I've color coded uh, uh, green 
is good, red is bad, um, and that's kind of like the range. And of course, you can flip it the other way around, which I'm not doing it. Uh, how well the uh, the site's performing? Uh, the first URL is incidentally the home page of the website, and hence you can see there's uh, quite a lot of um, uh, shares and there's been quite a lot of marketing. Um, what um, what I can see here is there's um, some pages and some kind of content tends to stand out and it's uh, shared over social media. Um, and um, surprisingly, in some cases, they've shared um, um, some content over uh, Pinterest, maybe the product screenshots, maybe uh, it's uh, some infographics that the marketing team have put together, etc. So uh, immediately we can gain some quick insights into um, how the website's been performing, and if there's uh, some strong performance in certain uh, kind of pages, uh, we might want to take a look at what that page is and understand what the marketing strategy looks like, and if they're doing some particular campaigns for that period of time and uh, we can closely keep monitoring this, uh, say, on a month-by-month -month basis. So it's really a handy tool to um, help us do some quick analysis, either on our own website or, um, you know, a competitor's website. Uh, so that's uh, a wrap for this video. So in summary, we have um, used R to do some um, orchestration, if you will, of moving data around. Uh, some really simple uh, way to do some automation from within R. We have used a couple of different tools here, but of course, um, uh, your choices of tools might vary. But um, this is just intended as a quick example. Uh, so hope you like the video. Uh, do subscribe for future updates, and thanks for watching.